Today we have a video of a quick and easy way to use standard uh, CR132 batteries in a Polaroid 360 land camera without any modifications to the camera itself. Uh, a few, you'll need a few tools, a um, little mini needle nose pliers, um, X-Acto knife or razor blade or um, utility knife of some sort a uh, rubber band of course the CR132 batteries two of those and then a couple of the old uh, these are number 532 batteries these are the batteries that uh, are designed to be used in this camera itself but are uh, not readily available. Uh, you can still buy them online. They're made by Exide, but they're over ten dollars a battery. So the uh, CR one thirty twos are uh, cheaper and easier to find. And then, of course, uh, just a little bit of um, tape. We'll start off with uh, open up your camera and the battery compartment. Now, uh, if you're, this is the first time you've opened uh, the battery compartment on your camera, it may be full of uh, corrosion due to uh, old batteries still being in there, so you want to clean that out. Uh, I've already cleaned this one out, and uh, my camera came with two of these old batteries already in there, so it's a good uh, source for that. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with is... Uh, Remove the outer casing on the uh, old 532 battery with the needle nose pliers. And I'm just going to do that by peeling off the uh, metal outer casing at the edge there. And uh, be advised, you could, um, it's possible to, uh, I don't know, get corrosion, battery acid, whatever on your hands. So. If you happen to do that, be sure to wash off your hands promptly. So these are crimped on there pretty well, so I guess kind of have to peel up the edge and then get it off there. So and then the casing comes off in piece, and then you have these button connections and the battery cells. We'll uh, put that over there. You can see there's some uh, sort of funky white corrosion or something under there, so I will clean that off right pretty quick. Using some uh, Windex. All sorts of fun in there. because uh, clean battery contacts will help conduct electricity. So once you get the any corrosion or whatever cleaned off of there, you will uh, attach it to the camera, to the uh, Snap it onto the post there. Already done. Uh, already done the first one. And there you see. I'm snapping it on there. So there, they, there you have it, right in there. Two of them snapped on the uh, <clears throat> the female end of the battery contacts. So that's all uh, you need to do with the camera. Then next you take your CR132 batteries. These happen to be Streamlight CR132A batteries. Uh, three volt lithium. Normally used in uh, well, tactical flashlights and stuff like that. Um, then you take your X-Acto knife and uh, cut off the edges around the bottom and the top 
like so, being careful not to uh, cut yourself. Just slide the knife in under that uh, edge there and uh, cut around, exposing the uh, full metal base there. And uh, you can do the same deal for the top. And that exposes the, uh, the top, so we have larger contacts, essentially, is what we're making here. Um, and I already have another one done, so I got the two. When you get your tape, get about, oh, I don't know, four or five inches of tape. Tape the batteries together. And uh, what you want to do is uh, kind of push them together, make a little indentation for this uh, notch in the battery holder so they'll fit in properly. So don't make it too tight on the one side. So. stick it in there uh, using the uh, appropriate poles of course stick that on there and as you can see it fits uh, fits in there right really well they're actually the same diameter as the uh, old 532 batteries it's just the connectors are different and you take your uh, rubber band and you rubber band around the battery holder just to hold them in since uh, since they're not actually snapped in. I only really need, need to do it a couple times just to keep the holder tight against the contacts of the batteries. So, there they are in there. They can test, uh, test to see if it works. Test the shutter batteries, cover the electronic eye, and listen for two clicks. There was only the one, so it means it's not seated properly. If I can uh, wheel around a bit there, make sure the batteries are properly secure on the contacts nope and it seems I've wrapped uh, I've wrapped my tape a little too tight that's what the deal is so if that happens yeah easy enough just take the tape off and uh, get a piece of tape. Let's make a little uh, more pronounced uh, slack point there. So regards to what it looks like on this attempt. We'll uh, collapse this to band again. Seems to be a little uh, more solid contacting there. And uh, let's try it out. Perfect. 
got uh, power to the shutter, and then we test the uh, timer by opening the back. And there it is. You can see it. Lights lit up. Timing. So, got the two uh, CR132A batteries in there. Powering the uh, <laughs> the uh, camera shutter and the timer, and uh, these all just fit back in there. Snap the cover back on, and uh, good to go. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them uh, below, and I can answer them for you. And uh, happy shooting.